thought you said you'd call me a cab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a cab, huh? What are you doing in it? Oh, I just wanted to be here when you landed, honey. How is your flight? Fine. Your class is okay? Yep. Making friends? Mm-hmm. Excited for the wedding? Sure. Sarah and Lily are bridesmaids. I know. You look great. You look like you've grown since I saw you last. I'm the same height I was four months ago. I'm not crying anymore. Well, a cup size, maybe? Surely there's got to be a better way to advertise cheap. Oh, come on. Sorry, Laura. Oh, Patrick. What have you said? I missed you. Of course you did. So who'd you piss off? No one. Laura. <laughs> Just some idiot year nine kids, you know, think they're all that. You slept with someone? No. Please tell me it was a teacher. What the hell is wrong with you? Of course it was a teacher. Who? I always said I wouldn't. No. It was just you a... You slept with the principal. It was just a one-off fling. All right, he wasn't wearing his ring to school. He's married. Laura. I don't know what's wrong with me, OK? You still have a job? Oh, shit. If you say Laura, anything to Mum about what I just you said... You can't not tell... Not a word, Pat. Yo. What's up? Mum, I've got it. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Got it. Oh, Patrick, hello, darling. Hey, Mum. Gorgeous to see you, my boy. Mm. Oh, you don't look too good. Are you still working at that awful casino? Oh, it's a hotel. Um, and No, I've been at a design company for the last couple of months. Oh, that sounds great. Mm. Design, now that's more your line, isn't it? Really? It's all terrific. right. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, really? So it's not your passion? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> see how we go. Oh, Laura! Oh, oh, gorgeous to see you too. Good to see you. Oh, squirt. oh What's up? well, I never, never, ever right. see you enough these days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you lost weight or put it on this time? Gracie! Oh, look at you! Uh, are you doing okay? How's the acting school going? Yeah, it's um, fine. I'm back. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. If you're hungry, let's. Uh, Let's go inside. We'll leave in about an hour. Mom! What? What's this? My room. Yes? My room isn't here. No, it hasn't been for two years, Patrick. You would... Did you think I should keep it for you? Where's my stuff? Oh, for goodness sake. Look, if you want to sleep over, you can have the couch. Uh... <gasps> Woo. I can't get I never expected that. Why are you so agitated? I'm only here the weekend. If you're staying longer, just stay in my room. Grace, just go away. If you're looking for your weed stash, it's not here anymore. A what? <laughs> yeah, Mum found it and flushed it like a year ago. You're joking. Shit. 
Don't cry about it. It's not like weed's hard to get or anything. <sighs> that was some good shit. It was worth something. It was a lie, wasn't it? The design job. Well, if you need more money, she'll probably lend you some. Ah, it's too big of a fuck up for that. Well, you could sell your car. You already did. I lost it. And don't tell Mum or I'll kill you. Well, what happened? Life lesson, Gracie. Don't take bets. Don't gamble. Patrick. Do not tell Mum. Sugar? Laura, sugar? I would stay longer. I just have a lot of exam marking to do. I'll come and visit you again soon. Oh, I'd love you to. Thank you so much. Are you working on anything else, though? Oh, no. Just putting red pen on everything. <laughs> yeah, I expect that's the story of your life. But I thought you said you wanted to do something, um, a PhD in molecular genetics. None. I was kidding myself. I think I'll just stick to dissections and mould experiments. It's really fun. OK, well, as long as you're happy. This is for Grace. She definitely wants sugar. <laughs> Is that a tattoo? No. Just don't tell Mum. <laughs> what else is there? Oh, nothing. I'm not going to say anything. Just show me. No way. I didn't know you are into that kind of stuff. Wait, is there a boy? Laura, I don't want Mum to know. Relax, I'm not going to say anything. Who is he? Did you meet him in acting school? Not exactly. Spit it out. Well, his name's Felix. Yeah. And we met when my friend took me to this eco village and... Now You're in saying... a commune? It's not a commune, it's... Oh my a god, place Grace, that we go to... how long have you been doing this? Are you even going to your classes? What's the big deal? You're gonna get yourself killed. My sister's gonna be the one that goes missing and shows up dead in a ditch somewhere. Grace? It's not like that. And if you tell Mum, she's not going to let me go back. It's not like I actually care about acting school anyway. It's all pretentious bullshit. At least I actually feel alive at the village with Felix. Of course you do. If you tell Mum, my life is over. Grace, if I don't, my life is over. Imagine once she realises that I knew and she didn't. Get over yourself. Get out. Grace. Get out. You right to drive, Laura? Where's your car? I'm getting a mechanic for it. Pat, where's yours? I, um, also in the shop. I, I took a train here. That's just, why don't you just take your car? Patrick. What? Where's the oh, God. Oh, my oh, God. Laura. <gasps> what have you done? Do you want to take my car, Mum? We're not going anywhere in that. I'll call a taxi. You'd rather pay a $200 cab fee? Whoa, whoa. Are you crazy? I mean, you can Relax. I can fix this. What are you doing? Slot. Slot's better than slot. No arguments against that. Feels just as bad. Oh, I got a better word. Patrick, stop! What the hell? This isn't helping. Sure it is. Stop it! <laughs> nice. Let's ride. Slot's better. 
These people won't be asking questions. They're like, what the hell is that even mean? It's funny. What, you just like to key in people's cars' bonnets? Have sloth written on the front of your car forever? <laughs> Bonnet was already keyed on. Who did it? Mum, can you please just leave it? Oh, look, Laura, I just want to make sure you're okay. Who would do something? It was just that? some school kids being dumb. Oh. All right, just leave it, please. All right, don't you think? Maybe... Patrick, please what? shut up. Oh, oh come on, everybody. I mean, I just want us to be nice to each other. Yeah, it's the first time we've been together for I'm ages. Well, can you tell Patrick? Yeah. Can I just shut up? I have a call. Hello? Oh, hey. Um, no, I'm just, just the car for family. Yeah, it was, it was fine. Um, well, I'm gonna try and eat vegetarian while I'm here, but who knows how that'll go. Um, we're just on our way to the big family lunch thing. Laura? Yeah, I miss you too. <laughs> but too. I'll, um, I'll, I'll call you tonight or something and I'll see you in like three days anyway. Okay, okay bye. What's the matter? Sorry. I just, um, I love you, Grace. Just look after yourself, all right? Are you crying because she's a vegetarian? <sighs> oh, my God. Laura, stop making such a big deal. Are you a big deal about what? Is it the vegetarian thing? Look, honey, if you'd told us, we could have made some arrangements. She doesn't eat. She doesn't eat. Oh, are you vegan as well? I didn't put soy in your coffee. Just eat leaves. No, Mum, Mum, it's water. not that. Oh, for God's sake, Laura, pull over before you get us in an accident. Okay, get out. I'm driving. What? No. Mom. Laura, get out of the car. Here we go. Are you serious? I'm driving. This is how my driving lessons always ended. No <laughs> crying. <laughs> Rule number one, don't drive in your yeah. car. It's like the first rule of driving. <laughs> mm. You all just told the exact same joke and laughed at your own time. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this family. You just haven't had enough driving lessons, Grace. You want one? It'll be fun. Very funny. I remember the time Mum drove through the drive through so far she ripped the speed box out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best was when we're off the scenic route up the coast and Patrick threw up out the window into Grace's face. Uh, no, you're forgetting the time that she parked in those um, bikers at Burger King at 1am and then they came and smashed in all her headlights. Shit. Grace! Jesus. When was that? Uh, weren't you there? No. Mum. Oh, sorry, Mum. I get it. I'm a bad driver, okay? I taught you all to drive, so what does that make you? Patrick, do you remember you totaled that car going over that roundabout? I was 16. Well, Laura backed over my bike the day she got her piece. At least you weren't on it. <laughs> Shit. So what really happened to your car then? I'm not talking about it. Mum's here. You're gonna have to tell her eventually though. I mean, she's gonna notice when you don't go home. Yeah, eventually. I'm not going to spring it on her before we get to this family reunion. Yeah, but you're going to tell her? Yes. I will. Maybe I can get a job first. So there's some good news to go with the shit. Chips, anyone? I don't know, does chicken actually have chicken in it? Are you allowed to eat it, Grace? Hold on. Mum's on to you, you know. I'm not telling her, Pat. She'd never forgive me. You know, she did the exact same thing 25 years ago. I'm probably gonna end up pregnant too. Unbelievable. Let's get out of here before we're even later. Come on, guys. Mum. Tell me in the I car, need to tell you Whatever it is, tell me in the car. Let's go. No, it's about Grace. It's no big deal. No, Mum. Darling, we... <laughs> Hey, I love that song. Shush, can't see anything. Q. 
Pierre's house is on Aubergine Street. <laughs> Funny street name, isn't it? Aubergine, that's another word for eggplant, you know. I'm not four. I know what an aubergine is. Oh, I don't know that. This is the street, I think. 116, was it? Yes, but just pull over here. We'll walk up. There's just a car park up there. Do you want your cousin seeing a car looking like this? Laura? You mean you don't want them seeing it like this? Are you ashamed that I turned out just like you? You don't want everyone knowing that I'm a slut? Well, you know what? I slept with the principal and lost my fucking job. And I'm not the only one sweeping shit under the rug. Grace isn't even going to acting school. She's living in a bloody commune. What? Laura, what the hell? Well... Patrick's Carlos and moneyless because he gambled everything. Grace! What? You idiot! Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Why would you say I that? What do you mean? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to bus. stay quiet. All you, I did Patrick, was don't even start with me. You ain't gonna tell like mum. Everybody shut up! I knew all of this already. Huh. Yeah, look shocked. I know, because you think I never pay attention. But I do! I saw all the signs the minute you got here. Grace, you need to learn how to hide tattoos properly. And Patrick, I just told Grace I flushed that weed, but it's actually taped to the, I think it's the underside, that's it, of the bathroom drawer. Yes. And I'm not unhappy about your car at all. Consider it an opportunity to start over. It's a clean slate. And Laura, oh, to be perfectly honest, Laura, I'm glad you got fired. That job was doing you no favours, none whatsoever, and nor is your sleeping around. So why don't you just go and take that science degree of yours and do something real. Instead of spending time with kids who think keying slut on someone's car is admirable behaviour. Yeah, I know, you're shocked. I was going to talk about it after the lunch. But now that we've aired our dirty laundry, can we please all pretend we're normal, right? Yes? OK, let's go. Uh, Mum, I... Oh, don't be sorry. No, don't be sorry. Just be glad we parked the car a block away so we don't have to listen to Auntie Jackie's incessant drivel about vandalism and or sex outside marriage. So sloth, though. Relatives will use anything and everything against you, Patrick. <laughs> There's no such thing as a cover-up. Only that it never happened. Um, well, I never got a belly ring in a vegan village while I was drunk. The boy only just met three hours ago. I know, darling.